stupid pantsuits. Okay, this is going to be a series of what about faces. What about is a tactic where you deflect everything that someone says by bringing up something completely unrelated or maybe related, but never address the original criticism. So here we go. This is Hillary Clinton in front of her lectern and or, if you want to call it, podium. Pro tip, if you're ever in a debate, if you see one of these things, tell them, I'll just take a mic and you can throw this off the cliff because it caused her trouble. Now, I don't want to bring up that scene from Mars Attacks, so let's go on. This is what it looked like from another angle. As you can tell, it looks brightly lit. And it was custom made, therefore, that's an LCD screen. Okay, now the microphone, look at the microphone, ignore the shiny surfaces. The rigid stem goes down to the black ring shape thing, which is on top of a wooden wedge into that V shape that's so brightly lit. Now let's look at uh, Donald Trump's. It's actually the same thing. <clears throat> um, again, why in hell would anybody make something this way? Anyway, well, actually, there's a specific reason for woodworking reasons, but who cares? Anyway, this is what caused the trouble. Why am I bringing this up? Okay, let's repeat after me, because obviously I'm the only one I can hear. If we find out we were lied to by a group of people or an individual, and we acknowledge that they lied and stop bringing it up in the comment sections on YouTube and on Facebook and stop reposting the same lie, lie, you know, like Trump keeps doing, we're going to be better off. So here we go next. That's what hers and his looked like. Yeah, she had the short bus version. You can see the bottom edge there uh, right here where there's a, I, I call it a contractor's gap. Basically, <clears throat> they started off, I don't know how they made them. Anyway, they put in wedgies, and they had to make his go up higher. Hers was near the minimum height. And when they put it in, they chop off the bottom edge, clean it up a bit, and paint the edge so it doesn't look like that, and drop it down there, and that's it. The interior of that thing has cabling going up to it for the microphone and for uh, maybe lights or something, for all I know. But there's no LCD panel, and there's no cabling for it. There, there was no teleprompter built in, and they are identical. I'll include links to the images. This is um, his that was stacked up with just uh, sheets of plywood. This is, um, you know, they just painted it red, white, and blue and all that. And you can see all the junctions at the top edge and stuff and cabling. Um, next, this is a comparison of their heights. It wasn't very subtle change, but it was done to build up and, and, and or take down the height of each person so that it would look less goofy on camera. Personally, I would have played it up because Donald Trump's tall. But anyway... The what about face about Hillary Clinton's teleprompter Donna Brazile Trump debate question Democratic Flint Michigan death penalty. And yes, I misspelled stuff. From time to time, I get the questions in advance, somebody said. Donna Brazile, or Brazile, leaked questions and topics to the Hillary Clinton campaign from CNN for CNN's Democratic primary debate against other Democrats during the primary process. The time and date stamps for March 6th and 13th, 2016, and October 14th, CNN resignation occurred because Donna got called, and then Donna Brazil said, My conscience as an activist, strategist, is very clear. So I call Donna a mole. It was not, however, any of this going on during the six foot two Trump versus five foot four Clinton debate at Hofstra University. Um, Clinton did not get uh, the questions ahead of time. She was not given that when he was debating Trump. As for whether or not she got the questions before the debate with the Democrats, I think the Democratic election was rigged like everybody else, but she may not have. But the trouble is, Donna is an activist with a clear conscience. That's not a reality, by the way. So let's review. No, it's not an LCD screen or teleprompter. 
No, it's still not an LCD screen or a teleprompter. And it's a stupid thing to do this. Why the hell would you do this? I don't care if it's a comfortable-looking desk. Don't build these special-purpose items, especially if they're different between the two of them. And the other thing is, both of them could look at each other's lectern to check. But, you know, you can believe what you want. Next. Seriously, Trump's tall. Next. I'm sorry, but I kept laughing looking at these images, so I had to make this, this combination image here. I mean, seriously, short bus versus uh, booster seat. It's just, I, I can't, I can't. The, the other idea was for her to stand behind the lectern on a box or on a, um, on a wedge to go uphill, but the, believe it or not, the presidential debate um, uh, meetup team, the itty bitty kitty committee, they decided that she shouldn't do that. If she had, there wouldn't have been a problem, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, they were basically built from the same standard, and just one was taller than the other, and that's it. Um, there wasn't any screen there. And as for, you have to show me a link somewhere that says she got questions given to her before the presidential debate, and you have to prove that. As for Donna Brazil and, 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 and the rigging of our Democrat uh, nominee, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that happened. But may, maybe we should just say a clear conscience activist is the problem. So, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And only you can prevent pantsuits. Bye.